morning, everybody. We're here at the rest area in Frazy, Frazy, Freeze, Frozy. We're here at, how do you pronounce this town name? F R A Z E E. Frazy, right? Or Frazy. We're in Minnesota at a rest area. We're on our way to Brainerd. I just called the customer there. They're expecting me. I'm about an hour, hour and a half away. We're going to dump this lumber off with them there and figure out what we're doing from there. I don't have any plans yet, but it's a new day. Staples, is that the name of this town? Rail passenger station. It's the train station. Heard all about that from Yellowstone. Don't want to go there. We're making our way towards our delivery still. Enjoying the sights. Thankful that it's not snowing. Knock on wood. Don't want any snow to come again. Apparently it was snowing pretty good in Saskatchewan yesterday. But we're not headed that way. We're on US Highway 10 and Minnesota Highway 210. Eastbound. I really love this part of uh, Minnesota.
going here? He's gonna open the door for me back there. And we're gonna back out of here. All right. Let's get ourselves out of here. Not too difficult it's just a straight back right out the door so not like i gotta back out the door and around the corner into traffic done that before many times this isn't bad i mean it's nicer if you can just drive right out the other side right but eh, can't have everything we want every time Because, you know, there might be someone messing around out there. See ya. Thank you. I'm just gonna park up here just off to the side send in my paperwork to the office figure out what's next I think they want to send me to Belle Plaine Minnesota I'm not too sure it's a noon loading appointment and I really don't like that I'd like to get loaded sooner than that somewhere so uh, we'll see what it pays and all the other info on it maybe it's worth it We're just gonna hang out here for uh, a few minutes while we figure out what's next, what's going on. I got the message about this next load. I just, I really don't like that loading appointment, 12 noon. And we'll see if it's worth it or not. I'm gonna give him a call, see what's going on. Okay, don't need this on anymore. Turn the heat up in here a little bit. So we're going to Belle Plaine, Minnesota, which is Southwest of Minneapolis St. Paul. We gotta go right around the city to get there. It's about a three hour drive. It's about a three hour drive from here. Better get moving. Loading appointment is for noon tomorrow. I'm gonna show up early though. Cause I'd like to get going. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully they can get me loaded. Apparently I'm gonna need a crane to get loaded and that's why uh, the crane appointment is for noon. So at least we can get there early and get everything ready so when the crane's there, you can just plop whatever it is on my trailer and we can go. I, I don't know what it is that we're gonna be loading. I heard that it might be over dimension, it might be a little over height. I don't know for sure. I haven't gotten a lot of information on it yet. I'll be getting more in the next little while here, but might be a little high from what I hear, so we'll have to get some permits. If that's the case, I'm hoping it's gonna be legal, but... Oh well, for those of you who aren't truckers or flatbedders, when you say a load is legal, it doesn't make the other load illegal. 
unless if you don't have a permit for it. A legal load means you don't need any permits. It's not too wide, it's not too high, it's a legal load. But if there's a permit required, you don't call it an illegal load. You just call it a permit load or an oversized load. That might be what we're gonna have to deal with tomorrow at noon. And that load's taking us into Manitoba. So I'm definitely not gonna be unloading that. It's in Southern Manitoba, a town called St. Mall. Definitely not gonna be unloading that tomorrow then. So that'll be a Wednesday morning delivery. So, not my favorite circumstance to be in. I mean, I'd rather be loaded first thing tomorrow morning and firing off in whatever direction that load's going, but you know, some loads you like, some loads you, you don't know you like them until you get there. So at least we're trucking, right? It'll be fine. At least we got freight, right? It could be worse. I could be all, I could be going all the way back home empty. I got something on the trailer tomorrow. 265 kilometers. Well, it should probably take about three hours, yeah. That's, uh, what would that be? About 120, 200 miles? A little less? Off we go. There's a truck stop in Belle Plaine. Uh, it looks like a, <clears throat> looks like a smaller truck stop with only room for maybe 10 trucks or so. So I want to make sure I get there as early as I can and get a spot. Karen, why would I go across this road, go around through the residential zone, and come back to this same road and go that way? Why don't I just go here? Is there a truck coming? There is. Yeah, I've been waiting at this intersection longer than Mr. Ford here, so it's my turn. There we go. Brainerd, Minnesota. Just on the north side of town. In one kilometer, turn right on Washington Street and then 210. Washington Street. Every town has a Washington Street in the US. He's kind of a big deal, Mr. Washington.
found a place to park here in Belle Plaine. It's the Senex fuel stop. And I know you probably can't see my truck, but uh, parked in the back in the dark. This is where we're going to call home tonight. Well, that's it, folks. Another short day today. I don't get paid by the mile, I get paid percentage. So uh, I'm not always counting miles. Today was a low mileage day, yesterday was a low mileage day, so I'm kind of thankful for, uh, for that. I prefer to be paid percentage. I'd rather get uh, percentage of the load than miles, especially with what I'm doing, it just makes a lot more sense. And uh, tomorrow at noon, I have an appointment with the crane, like just down the road here. I don't know what they're gonna put on my trailer. It's at a gravel pit. So I'm assuming it's gonna be gravel pit related. Maybe a gravel trailer. I wish I had a step deck. Whenever I uh, start my week, I always grab a step deck if I can. But uh, my buddy Caden went and grabbed this load for me last Friday so that I wouldn't have to grab it because I was sick, right? I, I couldn't go into work. Uh, so he went and grabbed it for me. I'm very thankful. Thanks, Caden. I know you're watching right now. I appreciate it. I, uh, it was very nice just to run into work on Sunday and pick up a trailer that was already ready to go. So he did me a big favor there. Uh, I know he was told to do it, so it's not really a favor, but I'm just going to consider it a favor that he did just for me out of the kindness of his heart and not for a paycheck. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, that freight is off my trailer now. I'm going to bring those tarps back to the yard when I get back there next. Probably tomorrow. There's a lot of new subscribers on our channel. Uh, in the past couple of months, uh, we've gained probably close to 3,000 new subscribers. Welcome to all of you. Uh, you want to know more about me? There's 11 years worth of videos in my playlists on my main page. You can go catch up uh, if you've got a lot of time. If not, Hey, we'll be happy to see you here again tomorrow. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It does help me out a lot. Hit the like button. That does help me out a lot. And leave me down a leave me a comment down below. That does help a lot as well. The more comments I get, the more thumbs up I get, the more YouTube recommends my video to more people. So thank you to all of you who have been consistently leaving comments every day, giving thumbs up every day. It's because of you that YouTube has been recommending my videos to even more people. And it's because of you that we have all of these new family members here with us watching the videos every day. So let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the train going along and we'll see you tomorrow.